good day and welcome back to our devotional time. You know, it was quite interesting this week because um, I'm going through my hard drives again and I think, wow, I've got photos over photos and things and it's so full. And I realized, you know, I've got to start organizing myself again. And uh, as I'm going through the old photos, you know, and I was in the event industry and then you see all the, the pictures of me and I'm with people there. And of course, I look a bit, quite a bit younger and so on. And I'm sending a lot of pictures to my friend too. That's been always a lot of years with me in the industry that lives in Sanin. And I came to a realization, you know, when it comes to a walk with God as well, we can tend, we tend to, when we had the feeling of young and so on, and especially when he started preaching and that, you know, everything was vibrant. I think, you know, he smiled more, it, it was near, it was great, you know, God's everything. And then sometimes you can start getting into just the groove, doing the same thing, you know, oh yeah, Sunday's church, then it's worship, then we do tithing, and uh, then we preach, and then we might have coffee, and Wednesday is prayer meeting, and Friday's youth, and it sort of just become a thing. And then we don't allow to, to grow, and we sort of lose that bit of excitement that we have. Um, and you know, we've got to come back to the joy and love in what we do. Um, and I just want to read in John 15, let's take it from verse 11. I've told you, so this you will be filled with my joy. Yes, your joy will overflow. Verse 12, I command you to love each other in the same way that I love you. And there, and here is how to measure it. The greatest love is shown when people lie down their lives for their friends. You are my friend if you obey me. I no longer call you servants because the master doesn't confine in his servants. No, you are my friends. Since I have told you everything the father told me. You didn't choose me. I chose you. I appointed you to go and produce fruit that will last. So that the father will give you whatever you ask uh, for using my name. And then he just adds on, I command you to love each other. Isn't it great to know that as pastors or leaders or so, that, you know, God chose you. And when he chose you, he called you his friend. You know, as friends, we try to uplift Jesus. We try to show his real power, the miracles he, do, he does in our lives. And so and we mustn't allow that we sort of just become, ah, just doing my thing. Just doing my little prayer on Sunday there. But remember when we were, or, you know, when you had the youth feeling for God um, and doing just the things for Him and the joy and the life we had in that. And I think maybe as well when we sit, you know, go through things and remember the joys you have um, for working for God. And when you preach and you, you reach somebody's heart to say, thank you, Lord, you know, that, you know, that I was able through Jesus to reach into his heart and then accept Jesus. And maybe it's time to look back into those things and see, okay, so where where have we maybe, if you have, start off just become, I'm just a pastor and I do my thing. And start going back in, planning, what can I do for Jesus? You know, make the time and so on. Amen. Let's quickly pray this morning or today. Thank you, Lord, that we can just come together, Lord. Thank you, Lord, although our bodies might sometimes get older than that. Lord, your life force that's part of us, Lord, it's forever young, Lord. Lord, you're an eternal God, Lord. And we just ask you, Lord, that you will just bring your, your love and your joy, Lord, and your youth into our hearts, Lord. And, and Lord, we, we can just pray, praise you, Lord, and just go out and make disciples in your name. And I just thank you, Lord, that you've given us opportunity to God and reach people. In Jesus' name. Amen.